oh, strap yourselves in because the Sussex Circus has rolled into town once again, this time setting its tent up at none other than the SXW Festival. Meghan Markle, our beloved Duchess of Repurposing, thought it would be a fantastic idea to recycle one of her speeches for a new podcast episode. Because why bother with the pesky business of creating new content when you can just serve the old wine in a new bottle? Enter Hugh Forrest, the co-president and chief programming officer of SXSW, who apparently wasn't on board with Megan's eco-friendly approach to speech giving. He effectively snubbed her demand to reuse her SXSW festival speech for her shiny new podcast episode. It seems Forrest operates under this bizarre assumption that speeches given at his festival should have a semblance of exclusivity. The nerve, right? Megan, ever the pioneer for special occasions, had grand plans for International Women's Day. She was all set to take the stage as a keynote speaker, likely preparing to enlighten us with her vast wisdom on social media's impact on teenage girls' mental health. Groundbreaking stuff, truly, if it weren't something that's been discussed ad nauseum by experts with actual expertise in the field. But the plot thickens. Megan wanted to double dip with her SXW speech, aiming to slot it into an episode of a new podcast with Lemonada Media. Talk about efficiency. Why exert the effort to record something new when you can just hit two targets with one rehearsed speech? Yet, whispers from the rumor mill suggest there might have been a slight hiccup in getting Lemonada Media on board with this master plan. Perhaps they were expecting something a tad more original? As if this little tiff with SXSW wasn't enough drama, let's not forget the ominous cloud hanging over the Sussexes' heads, their 80 million pound Netflix deal. With the sands of time quickly running out for a renewal, the silence from Camp Sussex is deafening. Not a peep about the deal on their new Archuel Productions website. It's almost as if they're trying to distance themselves from the impending disaster. PR guru Ryan McCormick suggests this silence might actually be a stroke of genius, given the backlash from their Netflix documentary filled with juicy royal family gossip. Perhaps staying silent is the best PR move they've made in a while. Yet, here we are, dissecting Meghan's attempt to recycle content as if it's the latest royal scandal. So, what have we learned from this latest episode in the never-ending saga that is Meghan and Harry's public life? First, that the couple's journey into the media and content creation is about as smooth as a ride on a rusty, creaky bicycle down a hill. Thrilling, perhaps, but fraught with potential accidents. And second, that Megan's innovative approach to content recycling might just be a metaphor for their overall strategy, repackaging the old in the faint hope it'll be seen as new. In the end, the SXSW speech debacle is just another day in the life of the Sussexes, filled with ambition, a dash of controversy, and a whole lot of speculation. Will they navigate through this latest challenge with grace, or will it be another bump in the road of their post-royal adventure? Only time will tell, but one thing's for sure. It's never dull when Meghan and Harry are involved. So keep your popcorn at the ready, because the show goes on.